What is up guys, Chronic here, and t today I am playing some Feed the Beast, and I'm going to show you how to set up a computer um, with a password lock to open a door. And I'll just show you my door. This is a big door that I'm working on. It's going to be like an underground bunker with like a nuclear reactor in the bottom. So it's going to be pretty cool, but I'll just show you how it works right now. Press the button. It lowers. You can walk through. And then it shuts by itself. Let's give it a few seconds. There you go. Shuts by itself. And then there's another switch on the inside that you can open up and get out so yeah but what I want to do I don't want it to be that simple I don't want to let anyone just walk into the base so I am going to set up a computer terminal with a password but before I do that I'm gonna show you my redstone uh, just kind of show you what I did this pretty much um, makes it to where the door will shut itself back and I'm not gonna go in depth with this I'll probably come out with another tutorial on how to create like a big door like that um, but yeah this it's really not that hard but we're just going to come back up here and get working on the computer. So I'm going to delete this block where the button is and I'm going to place a computer down. Now you can do this with an advanced computer or a basic computer. Um, I'm just going to do it with an advanced computer because I, um, the advanced computer has colors like um, the basic is just black and white, it's just white print and this actually has some color to it. Um, it's more it's more similar to like real life computer programming it highlights certain things and yeah I'm not, I'm not gonna explain that too much but yeah uh, basic and advanced are pretty much the same advanced just looks a little bit cooler and has a little bit more features so now that I've wired up the back of the computer because that's where I want my signal to come out of I'm gonna right click on the computer and I'm going to um, write edit and then password. Now what this is doing is this is creating your program and the program's name is password. So now we've got the program opened up and it's time to start coding. So now we are going to declare the variable um, correct pass and what this is going to do this is um, telling the program uh, that if a user I mean not if a user this is saying the only password you can enter to open up the door will be whatever you type in right here so correct the correct password equals one two three four if they type in one two three four the door will open next we're going to write a print statement or a write statement and what this is going to do is going to prompt the user to enter the password so I'm just going to type please enter password All right, and then now you're going to set up the reader or the scanner. Um, so this is going to be this. I'm going to type pass equals read open and close parentheses. Now what this is doing, whatever you enter, it is storing it as pass. So for example, if you write chicken, password. I mean pass will be will have chicken stored. So now we're going to start off with the if statement. Um, if <clears throat> password whatever you enter I mean not, not, not password pass whatever you enter equals equals please do not forget to do double equals um, if you just put regular equals the program um, thinks that you're just trying to set a variable and that's not what we're doing here if what you enter equals equals parentheses correct pass that's if whatever you enter equals one two three four then and then I'm going to press tab to kind of indent and make it a little bit more organized write another write statement password correct please enter alright and that handles that and for the sake of just making it look a little bit better. I'm going to go back up to my first uh, print statement and I'm going to put a colon and a space right there just so when I enter in the password it's not like hugging up to the uh, the D right here. So yeah, I'm going to go back down here below my print statement. Well, I'm going to go to the end of it and press enter and it will automatically tab over. And now I'm going to set up the output of the redstone. So. Um, you can type redstone or you can type rs.set 
uh, that's under case and then output with an uppercase uh, O and then this right here is going to be what side of the um, comp the terminal you want to output the signal out of so I'm going to do back um, you can do I'm pretty sure you can do top left right bottom and back I don't think you can do front because that's the I mean that's what you're putting in stuff so um, doing back and there's quotes around both of the uh, around it and comma true so this is setting the output to true it's turning it on and now you're going to go down to the next line and type sleep and then parentheses and this is pretty much however long I mean the time that it takes to open your door so I'm gonna put mine about six seven seconds I'm gonna do seven seconds just to give some time oops I don't know what the heck just happened there up all right uh, I'm gonna put seven what the heck oh yeah I know I derp seven and then close um, if you're doing like a terminal beside an iron door it's uh, it, you can put it to like two or three and it'll be okay and then after that you're gonna go down another line and put OS that's operating system and then shut down and then parentheses open parentheses closed and what that does it shuts off the the computer after you enter in the correct password so now that we have the if statement for uh, when you enter in the correct password we're going to put in now what happens if you enter in the wrong password so you're gonna press enter twice and go down a couple of lines and then I'm just gonna backspace and put else this is else if you don't put in the correct password what will happen so else press enter and I'm gonna press tab for the sake of organization and I'm going to make an output statement write invalid entry comma please try again now these outputs uh, these print statements you can type in whatever you want um, this is just what I prefer I mean this is just like what I want it to say um, but always make sure you have quotation marks around the statement and the parentheses as well so now that we have that we're gonna press enter and go down and uh, we just want we pretty much just want the computer to shut off if they enter in the uh, wrong password so we're gonna do sleep and for this we're gonna do like three as a low number so you can try again and then OS dot shut down parentheses open parentheses close and then we're going to backspace and type end and that pretty much ends the program that's all you really need and now we're going to press control and then S to save the program and uh, control again and then E to exit and I'm going to reboot and now I'm going to type password and it prompts you to enter the password so I'm gonna enter one two three four and it gives says password correct and the door opens now that's pretty sweet but I'm going to show you how to set it up so when you in when you enter in the password it doesn't show why you're entering for the sake of security say if you're recording a YouTube video uh, you don't want other people to know your password or yada 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 um, you're going to go to edit password just edit the program that you just made and then in the read in this read statement up here you're going to want to type quote star or whatever you want to show up when you uh, type in a letter and then quote to end it and then control save control E and now I'm going to show you how to get the program to come up on startup without you even have to type in anything it'll automatically prompt you and enter the password so what you're gonna wanna do is you want to do rename and then the program that you just made password and then start up so this is um, changing the regular program to the startup program and then shut down and then just exit out and open it back up and as you see it asks you for the prompts and I'll just type in a bunch of random stuff and look 
all it shows are stars. But I'm going to enter one, two, three, four. And there you have it. The door opens and yeah. Now I just have to do it on the other side so I can open it from the, the inside. But that's pretty much it guys. I uh, hope this helped. Uh, it's not too complicated. Like I said, I'm going to come out with another video showing you my redstone setup and actually how to set up one of these doors. Um, but thanks guys, it's been Chronic. Hope you all have a good day. See ya!